happy Sunday, everyone. It's Marion from MarionLoveNotes.com. Today, I decided to record a very quick video showcasing my tablescape. Now, I don't do um, a lot of fall decorating. I'm actually going to go to the store later on today and um, find some little knickknacks from Row Market and Target and Marshalls and see what I could do to kind of add a more kind of fall look to the table and when I do I'll take pictures and post them on my social media sites you can check those links out down below in the video however I did want to show you my um, very elegant um, tablescape so for those of you who are not into seasonal decor and want to find something that you can keep on your table throughout the entire season and that transitions from winter to fall to spring and summer keep watching the video I'm going to tell you where I got everything from where I got everything and I um, hope you guys enjoy so this table is actually from Row Market. I'll show you guys the legs of the table. And the chairs are from Row Market too as well. They are really this simple. I love them because they have like the um the nail heads going around the um chairs. These charger plates I got years ago um at Michael's. They're just really simple silver charger plates, nothing fancy about it. Um, the plates itself and his stemware um, is a set that King got from his mother. Um, when we move into the house, she um, allows us to have these. So I thought it was really nice of her to <laughs> give us these plates and stuff. But we never really had a place to put them. We used them um, when we, you know, entertain. But I wanted some plates that we can, you know, sit out and decorate. So now that we have a dining table, we can actually have somewhere to put them. We both grew up in households where the dining table was set. So to me, it's a very normal thing to have a very fully set dining table. This is not formally set because I don't have all this silverware. And that's something that I'm looking for to put on the table. But for right now, this is what I have. These glass bowls, I have no idea where I got these from. But you can probably find a set of these from Target or somewhere. These are just some rose petals. I have rose bushes out front that is put out in here. The greenery that I have here are eucalyptus leaves from Michael's. Um, actually, Joann's. I'm sorry, from Joann's. They're just individual pieces that I just kind of layered um, throughout the table in a very organic way. I wanted the table to have a really natural look to it. I didn't want it to um, seem too, um, I don't know, dressy dressy with the cloth, um, tablecloth and the table runner. And plus, I love the look of this wooden table and I didn't want to cover it up. So I wanted to show the table color. So that's another reason why I decided to go with the wooden box. Now this wooden box we got from a wedding um, reception and the end of the reception, the hostess told us that we can, um, had the box, they had flowers and stuff in it. She said they were doing it but throwing them away. I figured I could use them. And when I show you my coffee tea um, buffet in another video, you'll see how I use the other box. These elephant teapots, I have two of them. Don't remember the price of them, but they were under $20. They're from Real Market, aren't they cute? They're so adorable, I love these teapots. And I just stuck some flowers in them. I mean, how simple is that? Some really simple candles. I mean, they're just the Glee candles. Nothing special. Eventually, I'm going to get like a stand. I'm either going to DIY it. I'm going to buy one. Not exactly sure. I see some really cheap ones. I figure by the time you buy the glass plate and the candlestick and the glue, you know, that's what, like five or six dollars. But I've seen a couple of them that are really simple that I may um, buy and get to put the candles on. And this is them they change out a little bit and they put pumpkins on the, on the candle stand when I get a little candle stand here. And put like two little pumpkins, two white ones probably, on the table and that would be my way of adding a little fall decor. But like I said, check out my social media site soon. Once I find something and use it, I'll definitely share it. But I just have this greenery going all the way around the table. I just think it's just a really elegant and pretty way of showcasing um, our stemware and our plates and stuff. Inside the box, I put a bottle of wine. I have a little sugar bowl here, salt and pepper, and some napkins with a twine I had on a flower pot a while back. And I just threw it on top of there yesterday and I just feel like it works. So I kept it there. 
It's a very budget friendly. Um, I buy things one at a time. We already had the plates and the stemware, and this actually came with a set. Follow along, we already have napkins. That's really easy. This was free. I forgot how many, uh, how much this cost the um, greenery, but I know I use a coupon for it. Um, the elephant teapots are under twenty dollars a piece, and I mean. How easy is to find some little flowers to put inside there? And if you grow flowers in your backyard, you can always have flowers and rose petals to put in your your vases and in your pots and stuff. So this is it, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. I just wanted to share like a really simple, elegant, um, transitional tablescape that you can use in your table for those who are not really into the fall decorating or winter decorating. Not everybody wants to do that in their house. But um, for those who do, I don't think anything wrong with it. I think it's really pretty. I try to keep things really simple here. I hope you guys enjoy your day. And um, check out my blog and my other social media sites, which will be listed down below in the video. And I will check you all next time. Bye.